Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1981 crown, also known as the Charles and Diana wedding crown, as we see on screen now. Firstly, I'll talk to you about the design of the coin, and then move on to the facts and figures. Here is the reverse design, and it features a portrait of the couple, Lady Diana Spencer, or now Princess Diana of Wales, to the sort of to the behind, and in front of her, Prince Charles, who has now obviously become King Charles. The couple are facing to the left. Around them is an inscription reading HRH, the Prince of Wales and Lady Diana Spencer, which is basically saying, like I said, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales and Lady Diana Spencer now would be married to become Prince Charles and Princess Diana. The date of the coin at the bottom is 1981, as we see, which is the year, of course, of their marriage and why the coin was released to commemorate this event. This reverse design was done by Philip Nathan, and you may have just spied his initials under King Charles's neck. Now, moving on to the obverse of the coin, we see another royal, and here is, of course, Her Majesty the Queen. This is her second portrait, done by Arnold Mation. She is feature-facing to the right, and wearing a tiara-style crown in her hair. Around her is the legend, this time in Latin, reading DG Reg FD Elizabeth II. This translates to Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen, Defender of the Faith. The title's as monarch. Unlike some of her newer, more recent portraits, the portrait does not cut off at her neck, and instead we see some more of her shoulders, and we can also see some clothing there on the coin as a longer style portrait for this design. There is also milling around the very rim of the coin to stop the coin being clipped. Now then, we'll move on to the facts and figures of this wedding crown. The coin was minted at the Clantrescent Mint in Wales, one of the earlier coins to be made there after the move for decimalization. The coin is composed of cupro nickel. This is an alloy made of 75% copper, and 25% nickel. These two metals then mix together and alloy make the composition of this coin and give it the color and characteristics. The weight of the coin is 28.28 grams, the standard weight for a crown, as is the diameter, also unchanged at 38.61 millimeters, just as earlier crowns were before. The mintage of the Charles and Diana wedding crown is 26,773,600. And so, it's a high mintage and a common coin to find as a lot were made to commemorate the event at the back then. The crown, if you didn't know, is a coin worth 25 pence, or one quarter of a pound. And this is because it is a decimal crown, so it's still worth one quarter of a pound, but that is obviously less pence, as there's less pence to the pound. And back in 1981, when it was released, a crown had a value of one pound 23 in today's money, so it could buy a fair few things back in its time. But it can still be used to buy things, as the coin is still legal tender at that 25 pence, or one quarter of a pound value. Now then, what are the value, though, to collectors, if you weren't to spend it? Well, in poor condition, it'll only sell for around 50p. In fine condition, a pound. In extremely fine condition, five pounds. And in uncirculated grade, 11 pounds. So, a very affordable coin if you want to get this coin to mark the occasion or add to your collection. And you may very well already have it in your collection, so please do comment down below and let us know if you do. So there we go, the 1981 wedding crown of Charles and Diana. Please do subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if you've made it all the way through, a big thank you for everyone for watching. That is appreciated by us very much. See you soon for more coins and bits and bobs in the future.